Hello everybody, welcome to A Tale of Spices. Today I'm going to show you a pumpkin soup. This soup is actually a very healthy, hearty, uh, very filling uh, soup and it doesn't use any oil and uh, it's cooked in one pot and you just need a blender to blend it together, that's all. And it's a nice curried uh, spicy soup. So try to do this sometime and you know it's very good for people with diabetes and uh, blood pressure and uh, heart diseases, any of those. So what I have here is some green chili, ginger, uh, garlic, this is optional, onion, this is optional, uh, tomato, carrot, uh, potato and the main thing which is the red pumpkin. Now the red pumpkin is a slightly sweet kind of a vegetable so you know uh, and since we are not using any thickeners like corn flour or maida or atta or anything to make it thick I'm just going to uh, use a lot of this uh, vegetables only. So I am just going to use just a teaspoon of coconut oil you can use oil if you want if not you can completely avoid it no worries at all but I just like the flavor of the coconut oil. So to that I'm just adding the green chilies first so that the whole oil gets flavored with the green chilies, the ginger, the garlic. Give it one quick stir and then dump in all the vegetables. No need of like you know thinking what to put first because this is all going to cook together. This is going to be like a very simple easy to cook thing and if you're on a diet if you're watching your weight if you're on a diet then you know this is the best soup because you know it's very thin we have all the vegetables in give it a quick stir I'm going to add all my spices also at this time and then add the salt and the water and let it cook for 7 to 8 minutes. So first up I'm going to add just a little bit of turmeric powder just for the color and it's actually a great antiseptic too. So use that. A little bit of sambar powder. So this is what is going to give you that nice curry flavor. So I'm using close to about one and a half teaspoon of the sambar powder. And I'm using a little bit of garam masala powder. Now this is a homemade garam masala powder which has uh, cardamom, cinnamon, clove and a little bit of nutmeg. So I'm just using about quarter teaspoon of that. Then I'm adding a pinch of hing to it. Some salt. You can add the kind of salt that you might require. Just give it a quick stir and now to that I'm adding water I'm using just about maybe a cup to a cup and a half of water this is mainly so that the vegetables cook nicely so there you have it now it's going to cook for about seven to eight minutes when till the vegetables get nice and tender so after about eight minutes or so the vegetables are nicely cooked they have become soft so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch off the gas and I'm going to let it cool for 10 minutes because you know I have to put it in the blender and I cannot put it at put it in the blender hot so I have to let it cool down and if you don't want it to be spicy or if you're going to feed it for older people or very young children please do avoid adding the green chilies and uh, reduce the amount of uh, sambar powder also I'm going to let it cool now so this is cooled down pretty well so I'm just going to make it into a nice fine uh, puree So this is blended nicely so see this is a nice thick consistency I'm just going to pour it back into the pan now so see this is quite a very thick one so I'm going to add some water to it so you get a nice uh, soupy consistency so I'm adding about close to one cup of water into it 
now you can keep it as thick or as uh, thin as you like so but try to keep it like you know kind of on the thicker side so, you know it feels good so i think this is a good consistency for me i'm just going to heat it up for just a minute you don't need to boil it or anything just to heat it up just for a minute so you get it nice piping hot and then i'm going to plate it up so this is heated up nicely so i'm just going to take a nice soup bowl and pour in some good hearty rich pumpkin soup it's really yummy and it smells good too so there you have it and i'm just going to top it up with just a couple of mint leaves there and serve it up with a piece of toast and you have your perfect dinner a light and a hearty dinner and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching